Hey guys, Alite Legionarii here, and today I'll be bringing you a 2 vs 2 for Rome Total War. I'm in command of Pontus, my ally up here, uh, where is he? White Dire Wolf of Russia has also joined me in the Pontic style of battle. In this battle, we shall be facing a Carthaginian army, that's my opponent, commanded by Vinny, and a Roman army commanded as a Julii Roman army by more Milan 77. So, um, I, I can't remember what this is called. Is it called Guest's Rock, I think this is, or something like that, or Pinnacle Rock, or something like that. Um, kind of a, just a big rock in the centre of the field, basically. Um, but anyway, my army consists of four uh, units of bronze shields, like gold, gold. I have five units of gold attack archers. I have two gold attack chariot archers. I have two gold attack Pontic Light Cavalry, which I've put into loose formation. And I have four units of gold, gold Cappadocian Cavalry. My ally has, looks like, five units of bronze shields, which are in the silver, silver range by the looks of it. He's got two chariot arch, which I think are a little more upgraded than mine. We've got four upgrades apiece. And he's got uh, four Cappado five, uh, five Cappadocians of gold gold. So anyway, um, I've gone with a sort of skirmishing build. Um, but this is a very um, difficult map for chariots. And as you can see why, this is a big sort of pinnacle rocks. It's sort of like, you know, they mess with them. So I want to sort of get away from them with my chariots and sort of get out here into the nice fresh open. So anyway, the Carthaginian player is um, fielding five very heavily upgraded sacred being hoplites. Look to be gold, gold, and two experience on most of them, if not three in some cases, I think. And four units of gold, gold, sacred and cavalry. Um, no missile contingent, so this gives me an extreme advantage of my skirmishing style army. The uh, Roman player has, looks like, one, two, three... Four, five, six units of Praetorian Cavalry. Um, some with at least three upgrades each, but the other three with none by the looks of it. He's got um, a big line of five non upgraded urban cohorts and two legendary first cohorts. They're probably what drained his money, and it looks like he's got um, quite a few, about four Archer Auxilia and Standard Archer. So, um, He's strangely facing backwards. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but anyway, um, I'm just having a field day with my um, my javelins. As you can see, I'm just picking apart his cavalry. I'm just skirmishing with him. Um, my chariot archers be skirmishing. I haven't worried with Cantab Circle. Um, don't need it. There's no missiles firing back. So this allows me to retreat quicker without having to have that on. So I'm just going to skirmish with him. I know he can't catch me. Um, and if he does try to catch me, I can just draw him into my... Um, my Cappadocian Cavalry. So um, I'll just continue skirmishing with him. I mean, it's going to force him to have to either attack me or to retreat more. And I'm just going to, as you can see, I've got actually like probably like 30 horses all together already just with javelins and um, some chariot missile fire. So over here, um, my ally acts as a deterrent basically to the Roman player. Um, who's bringing down a lot of his, uh, his turning his urban cohorts around. Um, even on upgraded, these guys are a lot better than our infantry. Um, although our infantry could hold against them and not upgraded, but they got a huge infantry advantage, particularly the sacred, um, this Carthaginian player, the sacred band. Um, these guys are really tough, especially these upgrades. This is a good move by him. He goes into loose formation, um, so I'm just going to change my target to the Roman player. Um, I don't really care who I damage as long as I do damage um, all up get plenty of kills and weaken him. Um, I see he's moving his men, so I was um, aiming for flank shots with my archers, but he does stop that, so I will change that target in a moment. So I'm moving my men up, um, just to have, make sure they're in support of something that sort of just springs loose, if you know what I mean. So anyway, um, he sends some of these uh, Praetorian cavalry out to come after me. I'm just going to draw him away again. When he pulls away, I'm going to just harass him again, just be a real pain with my um, jav cav, um, and just steadily pick off kills. Um, Pontic Jav Cav can be very useful in the skirmishing capacity, um, although the best would be the Numidian ones that Carthage and Numidia can get their hands on. Um, but as you can see, I've already picked off a good handful of Praetorian Cavalry as well. Um, same with my Chariot Archers, and this will just go on, basically. Um, he's put his two legendary first cohorts in loose to assist. Um, not a bad idea. Um, I have no P the screen, but again, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't really need it. Um, as you see, I'm just continuing to harass... Um, 
and while my ally approaches, um, he's just cavalry quite far out there. Um, again, though, I'm not that bothered by all this cavalry against me. Um, uh, there's not that many upgrades on some of it, um, and I'm just going to continue to harass. Um, and I'm going to look for opportunities to get, get my um, jab cab into these archers. Once they're out of the picture, we can just skirmish them until they're weak enough to destroy by basically just teaming up on them with um, our infantry and cavalry. So he's going to go into test two, though, but I'm not going to waste my time on that. Um, I want to go after this sacred bank cav. Um, and here I see these Praetorian cavalry. Um, I've now been forced to come over here to uh, observe my ally. Um, and I move my, my archers up to get them into range of these um, yeah, yeah, cavalry. King of tongue tied there, guys. Um, so, uh, anyway, you just want to. Basically, just get you know, wither them out with um, units um, with sort of skirmishing. And here you go, I managed to get one of his um, archer units and I'll pull out of that. Sacred Band Cav won't catch me. Um, that's going to work nicely. Here, the flanks of these Sacred Band were exposed temporarily. I don't know how many of them I got. I did target them a little bit, but not too many. So, um, so we're just basically forcing them into our, our game, basically. Um, although, um, my ally probably um, was a wee bit. Um, Probably a wee bit too hasty with his infantry here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we should, what you should do, in my opinion, is just skirmish for as long as you possibly can. So now I see these archer auxilia are targeting or near me. Wasn't sure if they were going to start targeting me or not, so I got my guys into Cantab Circle. And unfortunately, they Cantab Circle right through all my own line, which is a pain. It just disorganises everything, so I have to quickly pull them aside. So over here, um, these Cappadocians are going to punch straight through these Praetorians, much more upgrades obviously, and Cappadocians are a unit that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Praetorians in most cases. Um, as you can see, there are a lot, of them not, there are a lot, a lot more little sort of greeny, tearly blue flags than the red ones there, so that's going to be pretty straightforward. Now uh, these Urban Cohort, even as you can see, these guys were gold gold, but absolutely no match for Urban Cohort anyway, so they're going to get destroyed quite, quite effortlessly. Um, but it doesn't matter, it's uh, taken enough of the Red Roman's attention for me to begin my own assault um, in a moment, uh, basically. Um, so here I make um, a slight error with my um, Pontic Light Cab, which does get caught, but this unit's going to get away, and I see that this Praetorian, uh, routing Praetorians out there. My ally kills the Roman general, but I'm going to see this routing Praetorian, I'm going to kill it because I don't want it to come back. That removes a whole cab unit out of the game. So uh, now I was hoping to use this unit here that routed to come around and try and get some of these Artra Auxilia. Didn't quite go the way I wanted. Um, but anyway, I'm advancing up now, get my archers into range of these Artra Auxilia. Um, and unfortunately my ally does lose his general, but it's caused quite a chaotic mess amongst their, our opponents. Um, and they're somewhat dis disheveled and disorganised. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm sending my chariots around the flanks and my um, jab cab, which are now coming down to strike at these um, arch auxilia, but they will be intercepted, but um, unfortunately I don't spot it immediately, um, and it will be snagged, but that does not matter to me, because uh, these Praetorian cavalry and other units are now completely um, bogged down for a period of time there, and now I can send my cavalry in. I've moved my men round to the flank too because I want to occupy this slight height edge and then swing my archers round over here while I preoccupy his cavalry with my own cavalry. I'm going to pin from the front with these two units and I'm going to swing around in a circle with the other two, um, which will enable me to route the sacred band a lot quicker. But they're tired somewhat and are weakened and depleted, but now as you can see I get an encirclement um, and it causes a route. As you can see I've come round the, the top height edge of this um, formation to gain a slight height advantage and I've got my numerical numbers coming down on them. Now I'm going to get into a fight with these Praetorian cavalry, which are now coming in. Um, and now I'm moving round the flank with my archers. Um, they're safe from cavalry, they're shielded. While this is happening I'm getting flank shots with my um, chariots and I'm amassing numbers on these points here. Um, he goes straight in for these two. I'm going to send these two round um, and try and encircle. He's going to come around the back here, but I'm not worried. Um, that's fine. So now I'm bringing in my cavalry, um, but I'm going to stop because he turns his men around. So I want to get out of that. It doesn't. They don't sort of 
get out of that very well, unfortunately. And now he brings his cavalry in, but again, I'm not bothered. Um, as he's doing this, their flanks are getting more exposed, and I rush this unit in to absolutely ensure that the sacred, these sacred band are snagged. Um, and this flight's going quite my way, um, mostly because I've got massive missile fire coming straight into the flanks from both sides, um, which is working nicely, and I'm making quick work of his cavalry with my guys. Um, but I've got to be careful of, of these um, sacred band. So I managed to break through over here and here, um, which is going great. Um, these flanks are extremely exposed to enormous amounts of missile fire, um, and these sacred band, even with all their upgrades, are no match due to enormous missile fire. Um, ordinarily, it would be no chance. But uh, here's the rest of these urban cohort coming in, but I'm going to catch them out quite easily, um, and they'll be destroyed. And I've got my other two coming down here to complete the encirclement of his troops. And here I'm bringing these guys over. Um, he sends these guys in. I'll just simply turn them around and set that. So it's more of an even bout fight over here. But now uh, these urban cohort are getting destroyed by my Cappadocian cavalry. Um, Cappadocians don't have the mace like the um, cataphracts. They're not quite as good, but they're still very good. Um, and I'm munching through them. Um, Again, most of just mass missile fire in the flanks from both sides is inflicting enormous toll on these Roman for Roman and Carthaginian forces. My ally weakened them enough. Um, his infantry got destroyed quite e easily, but that's to be expected from urban cohort against bronze shields. Um, even with their much superior upgrade, little match for the might of urban cohort. But um, it was the combined tactics of our, our assault. Um, it was timed well, it worked together nicely. Um, here we're going to come in and we'll, this will finish the Sacred Band off once and for all. Um, but basically the combined tactics worked really well here. Um, and I mean, they had no answer to it, my archers, so these guys had free range to just absolutely pepper their flanks with devastating missile fire and it made a decisive difference. As you can see, they're just getting totally pulverised. And my missile chariots um, are just having absolute blast. Um, if you don't handle these guys in the fight, they can become a real issue to try and defeat or deal with them. So uh, the Roman and the Carthaginian armies are effectively broken, so that enables me and my ally, the White Dire Wolf of Russia, a nice and decisive victory. Um, I felt pretty pleased with it. Um, I think it was fairly good skirmishing tactics. It disabled... Um, basically just sort of disabled them really, they had to either go in and out and then it just allowed us time just to stall them and wreck them basically. As you can see I had 1317 men, I got 1343 kills and I had 795 men remaining. Um, the White Dire Wolf of Russia had 984 men, he got 521 kills and he had 284 men remaining. Mill Meland 77 had 1383 men deployed, he had 955 kills and he had 94 men remaining. And Vinny, his ally, who was the Carthaginian, had 622 men, but extremely heavy upgrades for a small army, 392 kills and 28 men remaining. Statistically, um, bronze shields, um, they didn't do they actually did pretty good. This one here did pretty good, this one here did okay, but they didn't do they didn't do really like well, but they held the line, did their job while my archers did the work. Cherry Archers, 144 and 135 did extremely well. Um, my regular archers, 78, 70, you know, big, big numbers, um, big kills, few casualties. Cappadocian Cavalry, 67, 80, 77, 83. Again, big kills, not too many casualties. And very impressive work for my Pontic Light Cavalry, particularly this one that was 70. Um, but um, I was really pleased with them. Um, and my ally, um, Took a lot more casualties. His bronze shields, um, only really one of them did any good. His chariot archers did him well, just like mine did. Very effective. And his Cappadocians did pretty good as well, but his uh, bronze shields were a big fail. Um, but that's to be expected against Urban Cohort, unless you've got a, you know, you got really good positioning or much more upgrades. In this case, he did have a lot more upgrades, but still no match for Urban Cohort. So anyway, great game to the White Dire Wolf of Russia. More Milan 77 and Vinny. Thanks, guys, for playing. It was fun. Um, and thank you, viewers, for watching. I appreciate your views. Hope it was enjoyable, informative, and just genuinely a good Rome Total War game. So many thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon next time.